Hey guys, it's Apple Ray with Divine Goddess Healing. Welcome to my channel and thanks so much for tuning in. Um, today we are going to do a collective general love reading for the month of October for the sign Taurus. So thank you so much guys. I want to start off by doing a message from your angels. Healing. Listen to your heart. Love is the greatest healer. It has the capacity to balance and heal your emotions, thoughts, and perceptions, which in turn will heal you physically. Your angels are here with you and will help dissolve your fears. Trust in the power of love to guide you and your life will magically transform. This card is confirmation that healing is occurring right now. What a beautiful message to start with. So that's for you, Taurus. Okay, so in regards to love, our first card is only time will tell. So let's see what the cards have in store for you guys. Oh, wow. Oh. That's beautiful. We have door to spirit and door to romance. So um, this is a really beautiful energy. So I think what um, the energies are saying here and we've got the healing is as you heal on this path, you are opening the door to romance. Okay, and only time will tell because this is all based on your effort, your perspective, and where you choose to go, what you choose to manifest with your energy. What energies are you allowing yourself to feed into? Because we are really ascending to a new place. There is a lot of knowledge out there but what will get you to the destination that you seek? Okay, it's time to continue to heal, to dive deeper into that healing, going straight to source. Sometimes it's not about, you know, sometimes other what other people can teach you is really only a reflection to what you already know within, what you already have the answers for. And, you know, when you allow yourself to get too engulfed into what other people tell you to do, create a lot of confusion into your body because you're absorbing so many different energies. And sometimes that is our spiritual mission. Our purpose is, you know, right now, especially we are in a place of diving further into unity consciousness. Um, and sometimes when we reach our destination, we realize that we don't have to continue searching. That we were never truly broken. That we were always healed. And in this place of total acceptance of where we are at in this moment in our reality, it's a beautiful thing. And that's, that's when doors open up, is when we're in this moment each and every moment. And I think that's something that you're realizing. You're realizing, you know, how to harness and balance your own energies and how to trust yourself a little more. We have Healer of the Ages. So this energy is here with us right now. This is divine, pure white light and love, the pure love of Jesus Christ is here as well with us, whether you're 
religious or not, this is an energy that whose love is unconditional. And that is the energy of true healing on this planet. Yeah, we have door to value. So you're opening a lot of doors here. Door to spirit, door to romance, and door to value. So what's being said right now is valuable and your spirit resonates with that. Even the words that I'm saying and my voice, the sound of my voice is in resonance with you in this moment. So this is a very good place to be, a very good sign. You have a direct connection to spirit and I am just a reflection of that because I also have that direct connection as well. So, you know, you're in a really beautiful state. If you're watching this video, yeah, we've got victory on the bottom of the deck here. That's really beautiful. I feel you in this energy with me in this moment. There's the number 28, which equals 11, which is that twin flame number. And the number one is the number of new beginnings. We've got victory here. So there is a victory. Whether this is a twin flame or soulmate connection, it is very divine. And the door to romance is the number 33, which the ascended masters are here. That is an ascended master number. And you may be an ascended master. We have walking away and strategy. So what is happening right now with you is that you're finding self-love and you're, you've opened a door to a new possibility, a new way of experiencing this love. And you know that happiness is through this doorway and you're going for it. You have a, your soul has a specific strategy that's been ingrained within you, within your DNA, before you even came to this planet. And I think that is why there is such a happy, free energy, because now you can finally access this new portal. There was a sacrifice that you had to go through to get to this place, but your soul chose this. and it has been divinely guided. I feel a really beautiful energy. So you may have walked away from a love connection, a situation, but for your highest good, because you know that this situation isn't over. This situation has just begun, this connection. All the beautiful energies that could come from this are just ahead of you. And you finally get it, like something clicked that you have to go about things in a completely opposite way than you ever did in, in your past to draw this energy to you. Yeah, we have the world. I feel like this is your partner's energy. Like they're staring, like you are the world here. And this is your partner in this cold, lonely 
place, just staring up at you. Like you mean everything to this person, but you've taken your love away or they perceive it that way. I just realized <laughs> the number 29, 29 equals 11. So this card is an 11 card. Where was the other one I had? 28. I don't even see it on here now. That's so weird. Did I put it? Maybe I put it back in the deck. I don't know, but there was a number 28, but that actually equals 10, not 11. But this equals 11. That is the strangest thing. I cannot find that card now. <laughs> but um, in your person's energy, there's these lilies, these white lilies surrounding them. So even though they feel cold, they feel like they've been cut off. There's a lot of wisdom that they have unlocked. It's like there's a part of you that you've cut off from them because there's like this shadow over half of this world, but the other half is illuminated just enough for them to still see you, to see you shine, to see how beautiful you really are to gaze on that energy, to, to admire, to miss that energy. But there's a part of you that is cut off from them. And that's what their soul needs to awaken them to this truth of your magnificence, your radiance, your love, your light. This energy longs for you and you are helping this person to advance spiritually to mature we have the seventh chakra archangel uriel so i feel that this is your energy that you've tapped into through all of your knowledge that you've gained, but it's also their t energy as well. Both of your crown chakras have been ignited because that's the place where both of you now are beginning to see things the right way. They can now see your vision. That part is being illuminated. And your higher self is what is guiding them towards you. Beautiful, Taurus. That's really beautiful. So what do they want you to know? Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So that's what they want you to know. And I feel like you are really mastering that. Um, Taurus seems to be such a beautiful energy. Every time I do your readings, you have the most vibrant, light, beautiful, joyful energy of all the signs that I do readings for. I don't know <laughs> what it is about you guys. Well, you've really mastered your, your higher self in physical form, you know, and you're very stable and you're very dedicated. And, you know, you're, you're very wise beyond your years and I think you know um, a lot of it, it you you really don't flaunt it 
the way that you could, you know, it's almost like you kind of hold this energy within you. You have no reason to be loud about it. It's just this quiet confidence that you guys exude. It's really beautiful. So let's do a romance. Let's do some romance angel cards. So let's find out more about this situation. All right, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yeah, you guys are confident. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So this person may be coming to visit you um, or you may be spending some time together soon coming up, but I feel that you're attracting this energy. You're so confident in yourself, your self-worth, that you don't have to pursue. And that's why you feel so happy now, because you're allowing this energy to come to you. The more that you heal yourself and, and value your self-worth, you're drawing this energy in. I feel like I should pull this card. It was poking out. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So it's exactly kind of the energy that I was getting for you. It's all about really learning how to forgive the past. You're, now, it doesn't mean that you're settling. You're, you still are creating the boundaries that you need to receive the love that you know you're worth but your your i think biggest thing right now is is learning how to forgive and at the same time being able to be open and loving but still have your boundaries you're really mastering the self-love it's really beautiful so with the spirit I want you to know for the month of October, what energy are you in in this month in regards to love? We're not going to take those. That was a lot. <laughs> we have vision. Yeah, like I said, your crown chakra is so open. I mean, it is illuminated. Just look at her, this huge amethyst in her crown. It is just huge and vibrant and illuminated. And there's like the flower of life inside of it as well, which is really beautiful. So you've got a really clear vision about where you're headed and what you want to manifest. You're really kind of a master manifester is what I'm getting from this energy. And we've got the hawk here as well. This is a dream catcher. So you're really filtering. You're being very conscious of the energies that you let in, that you hold on to, you're filtering, you're really refined at creating this beautiful picture, but we've got this hawk energy here. So you really see the end result and you're very clear. You've got a clear target here of exactly what you want and you're not allowing yourself to falter outside of that. And that's really wonderful. So what do you, jeez, those cards went everywhere. I'm not even gonna pick them up because that's a lot of cards. Okay, so <laughs> what do you need to focus on? The big picture, wow. So I feel like that was very symbolic to filtering out 
getting your vision clear, filtering out all the bullshit that you don't need, and focusing in on the big picture here. That's kind of funny. So you're really seeing the fruits of your labor manifesting, and you're in this beautiful feminine energy. You're able to watch it come to you, to grow. You're not in this state of panic of having to do things. Your crown ship chakra is just sparkling, just lit up. I just love your energy. I just, I, it's really pure and, and light and uplifting. And I just kind of want to stay in this energy myself. I'm, a life path nine and a Capricorn. I'm actually a super Capricorn is what I've been told. So I, I easily absorb all energies around me, all of them, the highest and the lowest. So for me, you know, it's very, sometimes it, it, it can be difficult dealing with, you know, the having that gift of being able to tap into all the energies around me, but it can be tough too. But Taurus, it just seems like your energies are just always so clear. Like you're just always focused on your vision and not on what is going on with everyone around you. You're not concerned about, you know, you, you may, <laughs> have empathy for other people, but you have such an understanding spiritually that you can only, you know, your best, um, your best, the best thing you could do for this planet is to focus on you and not to put out your energy, not to give out your energy to the wrong energies because they have their own soul lessons that they need to learn. And, and you have a very deep understanding of how energy works. And um, so it's just very light, very pure and beautiful. So it's, it's really nice doing this reading for you guys. So I wanna do an Ascension card for you guys, for your energy, while we're, while we're here. Archangel Metatron's Retreat. So Metatron is for the third eye, which I believe your third eye is also open. You know, your third eye and crown chakra really kind of go hand in hand. And in this walking away card, she her third eye is is lit up. There is like this crystal over her third eye, and it's illuminated. So I did see that Archangel Metatron's retreat is above the Temple of Luxor, Egypt, where he holds the ascension energy for the world. He maintains this energy by bringing forward spiritual discipline. He suggests you commit to a spiritual practice if you do not have one already. Luxor is the spiritual throat chakra of earth. As it ascends, people will communicate higher wisdom and link telepathically with all life forms. You are asked to send love and wisdom to all sentient beings. This card invites you to visit Metatron's retreat in your sleep to accelerate your spiritual growth. And there's an affirmation if you'd like to say it with me, feel free. I am visiting Metatron's retreat in my sleep Tonight, I am visiting Metatron's retreat in my sleep tonight. So that is your Ascension card that I pulled for your energy. 
So not only is it about the third eye, but it is also about the throat chakra and speaking your truth, but speaking it with love. So you have a really beautiful ability to empathize with others without absorbing other people's energy. You have a lot of self-love and there's a lot that you can teach other people. You may even be a healer. You probably are. I mean, obviously, with your energy, you naturally connect to this beautiful, unconditional divine love. And you have that higher vision in order to really inspire the actions of others around you to work in cooperation with you. There isn't any um, negative or um, conflict or competition at all. It's, it's just this very clear cut energy of what you will and won't accept but in a very loving way. And it's really enticing all of the energies around you to conform with you, to be on your side, to be a team player. So that's really what I'm getting and, and definitely in regards to this romance. So you're really on the fast track to this ascension and to this love and to really fulfilling what, you know, the potential of what this love could be. So it's very inspiring for me as well. So let's continue here. So where is this connection headed in the month of October? A huge stack of cards flew out, but on top, we have love, the number six for relationships. So that's where it's headed. Yeah, yeah, you're manifesting. Like I said, master manifester here, the number one. Ellen, I forgot to tell you, the number 28 is on this card. Like I was saying, I was trying to look for the number 28 and then I pulled this one out and it says 28. It's too funny. Um, but yeah, you're beginning right here with this manifest card. You're really learning how to choose your battles and what not to feed your energy into anymore. You're very clear cut about what you will and won't put up with. Yes, clarity of belief, another number one, new beginnings. You're manifesting the best of the best here. This man is manifesting this beautiful butterfly. We do have rest and reconsider number nine. So you may have really been, I wanna say through the ringer <laughs> in regards to this situation, this connection in the past, but you, you're you reconsidering, you're not closed off from the situation. You're just holding yourself to a higher standard and you're allowing this person to meet you there with open arms in an, in an equal balanced way. So that's beautiful. That is so wonderful, guys. So I really feel like I should pull one more card for you before we go, but this is an amazing reading. I really hope this has resonated with you. So I'm gonna pull one more Romance Angel, or these are the, um, These aren't the Romance Angel. This is the Lover's Oracle deck. So one more message for you before we leave today. Embrace. Through each other you find the missing pieces. Oh, Beautiful. Aww. I just love this energy. Thanks so much guys for tuning in. If you like this video, please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to um, continue to be updated on my videos. 
And if you're interested in sending me a love donation or purchasing any personalized readings, I also do personalized healing um, activations as well. Um, and uh, I, I also sell shamanic artwork to place in your home if you want to really create a whole new portal of love and abundance. Um, so check, the, check out all the links below. Everything should be listed down there as well. So thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye.